Before I get too deep into this video, I want to thank everyone for being so engaged in the comment section of my channel and with this leaderboard project. If you're not familiar with the leaderboard project, I'll link to the video above and below in the description. I also want to thank the many incredible companies that have contributed to the prize pool. NVIDIA has been awesome in giving away five Deep Learning Institute credits each month for the year 2021, and 365 Data Science is giving away one free year of membership to each monthly winner this year as well. Finally, HP gave away an incredible Omen gaming accessory bundle for the 2020 competition and has pledged to give away a ZBook Studio, the same laptop that I use for the winner of the 2021 annual leaderboard contest. This is some incredible stuff. Let's check on the current standings. Oh no. Um, well, uh, um, um, well, as you just saw, the current leaderboard just isn't cutting it. I'm occasionally getting strange error messages and it just frankly doesn't look very nice. I decided I wanted to kick this project up a notch, so I called my two friends, Tina Huang and Forrest Knight. What's up? <laughs> we wanted to take this from a flimsy tool that helps with my own community to something that any creator can use to help engage more with their audience. While we build this, we thought it would be a great way to bring you in and show you how a team of technical people work together. Forrest will be supplying the software engineering knowledge. Tina will be focusing most on the data science elements and I'll be filling the role of a project manager and experienced designer. You get a peek under the hood of our process, our successes, our failures, and all of the awful inside jokes that we create. You'll also get wrapped into a beautiful story of friendship and teamwork and how we can overcome any obstacle if we work together. As you can imagine, building something like this is a huge undertaking. We have to construct a better data pipeline, we have to design the website, we have to actually build the website, and then eventually get users. This is a lot of work. In the remainder of this video, I'll show you how we selected our core features for the first version we're building together, determined the tech stack, and started the prototyping process. At the end, you'll get an inside look into the mockups that I created for the website. Fortunately, I already built an MVP of this, so we had a pretty clear structure about what we wanted to build. Essentially, we're planning to just iterate on what I've already done and add the following features to the new website. The first thing we're building in is the ability to pull data from multiple YouTubers, not just me. Tina is going to show you how to do this in more detail on her channel. The next thing we're adding is the ability for YouTubers to create an account and manage their leaderboard. The third thing we're going to do is a major upgrade to the aesthetics. We're essentially going to rebuild the whole thing. But before we could start building, we needed to choose what tools we're gonna use. So in order to choose the technology stack, Force pulled his YouTube subscribers and by far the most common tech stack that was recommended was MERN. So MERN stands for MongoDB as a database, ExpressJS as a web framework, React for the client side and Node.js for the web server. For the dashboard I built, I used exclusively Python and Streamlit. Streamlit is a great platform for the use case, but I think if we want to scale this up and make it for multiple channels and multiple users, it makes more sense to use a more nuanced tech stack. Tina and I had absolutely no clue what Mern was. We thought it was some just like weird meme that we weren't familiar with. Um, so obviously we have a little bit of a learning curve. Before we did, finally settle on the MERN stack, we did have a couple considerations we had to make. The first thing we thought about was how comfortable are we using this framework? The second thing we wanted to know is does the framework work for our use case, creating a leaderboard, creating these accounts? And the third thing we wanted to know is would people make fun of us on the internet for the decision we made? Forrest will have a video on his channel that completely profiles the MERN stack and how we made that decision to use this technology. Before we start to build, it really helps to have a good idea about what we want our platform to look like. I spent countless hours on some of the most despicable websites on the internet to find the best examples of good leaderboards and ranking charts that I could. We decided that a dark theme with rankings would be a good starting point. Because two thirds of us are data scientists, we also thought it would be appropriate to have a bar chart to show the magnitude of differences between the amount of engagement points people have accumulated. 
Finally, we also want to experiment with some badges as well. Let me know what you think could be good milestones for badges in the comment section below. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, a quick look at the mockups. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next episode, we're gonna go through how we built the ETL for the data, how we're approaching partnering with other YouTubers, and you'll get to see the very first live look at the website. Also, make sure you go and subscribe to Forrest and Tina's channels, because then you'll get the full scope of the work that's being done. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.